Well, let's talk now about that most accurate forecast. We're going to switch over into weather action mode as we are starting to see some impacts because of the heavy rain in parts of the West Valley. We've got flash flood warnings in that red polygon that you're seeing there covering spots like Deer Valley, North Phoenix, Glendale, Peoria and Goodyear as heavy rain has fallen in that area. And we're starting to see some issues on some of those roadways along I-17 spots that typically tend to flood. But either way, areas that you're going to want to avoid this batch of storms essentially developing just north of the Loop 101 a little earlier, and now it's tracking south through the valley, extending further down into spots over the Estrellas and South Mountain, but also a little further east, too, into areas like Scottsdale. A lot of lightning with this, too. So if you're waking up with us in Glendale and Peoria, that's likely why you're hearing the thunder outside your window. Now, this batch of thunderstorms, there's nothing behind it. Once this pushes through, things should ease up a little bit with just a chance for some more spotty thunderstorms through the next few hours. But otherwise, this is kind of the most active area that we're seeing right now in the valley. A flash flood warning in place until 1030 for areas like Peoria and Glendale spots along Northern Avenue, the North 67th Avenue or 67th Avenue and Northern rather 67th Avenue and Peoria I-17 getting hit. We're also seeing those storms essentially lining up along the I-10 as they track to the south. So heavy rain, you're going to need to give yourself extra travel time. And again, if you can delay travel. Also, if you're familiar with your community, which I know that you are, you know which areas tend to flood flood very very easily. You want to make sure you're finding an alternate route or thinking about an alternate route so you don't get there, encounter flooding, and then have to turn around and find another way. We are also seeing some of those storms extending further east, east of State Route 51 along the Loop 101. Some pockets of heavy rain moving through North Scottsdale. The green polygon that you're seeing, that's a flood advisory that remains in effect, at least some localized flooding, ponding water on the roadways. But those red polygons, again, those are flash flood warnings. So we've got one in the West Valley, but also near our North Valley and East Valley foothills too, where we saw some of those powerful storms last night, even though the bulk of the rain, of course, has ended since we saw that activity last night. The ongoing flash flood threat remains. So again, just make sure you're being extra careful, especially before the sun comes out. It's harder to see those flooded areas. The bulk of the storms that hit us last night tracking through southern Arizona, otherwise looking dry across the rest of the state. Again, the most active weather right now moving through the West Valley. We do remain under a flash flood watch until 5 a.m. That was extended overnight. And then as we go through the day today, we've got a chance for these pop up thunderstorms for the next few hours, but then we're going to see some clearing. And again, I think this batch that's moving through right now is likely going to be our last kind of hurrah before we catch a break, leave mostly sunny skies through much of the day, and then daytime heating brings more storm chances across the state. So by this afternoon, things light up again along the muggy on rim, and then those storms will make a run for the valley, possibly sending some outflow winds that trigger storms in the area. So by the evening and by late evening, I'm talking eight o'clock, nine o'clock. We could see storms back in the Phoenix area. And again, the threat is there for areas of heavy rain, flash flooding. Some strong winds will be possible again today, although that severe wind risk like we saw yesterday is a little bit lower for the valley today. So I don't expect necessarily 80, 85 mile an hour winds, but we're still looking at that threat for flash flooding and at least some strong winds. The biggest risk for severe weather today will be in those areas highlighted in that darker green, a marginal risk for damage winds there and that's from Flagstaff to the north areas along the rim. Small hail will be possible too, along with that risk for flash flooding. So essentially stay aware of the changing weather conditions this morning. We've got some flooding issues in the West Valley and as we go into this evening, we could see another round of powerful storms. That storm chance continues tomorrow and then if you're ready for a break, we've got one coming starting Thursday. Drier air moves in and we'll see sunny to mostly sunny skies through the weekend with highs in the hundreds this weekend.